Hey, what's up, guys? Thanks for checking out another episode of Kenny's Record Collection. Uh, tonight's going to be a little bit of a different episode. With Halloween coming up, I put black lights up in my little lair here. And uh, I got to tell you, I noticed some cool things. A lot of the stuff I have in the basement glows under black light. And I also have some records that glow under black light. So if anybody out there has a black light in the house, I want you to check out what you have that glows. Any records that you have... Any cool stuff like that, maybe we can make a little thread for like a little Halloween action. Uh, so we're going to get into it right now. I'm going to shut off the regular light and we're going to see everything under black light. Give me one second. All right, here we go. <laughs> see, I got a couple of toys glowing right behind me. Got my shirt, my Misfits shirt. And uh, on that note, we're going to get into one of my favorites. I reviewed this a couple weeks back. This is Halloween by The Misfits. If you want to know more about this record, I made a whole video about it not too long ago. Look at this, how it glows. It's amazing. I love it. Uh, this is also an indicator of a legit copy, the way it glows in the dark. So if you have a copy at home, you're wondering if it's real or not, throw it under a black light. See how that goes. Uh, now... This is Die Die My Darling. It glows a little bit. It's very faint, but it does glow. Certain versions glow, certain versions don't. Uh, this was from the 1986 run of Die Die My Darling. The original pressing does not glow at all. So that's the way you could tell. If you have an original pressing, it does not glow. Now check this out. Three Feet High and Rising by The Great De La Soul. Everybody out there is waiting for their uh, music to be released on streaming services. They had a lot of trouble with Tommy Boy. They, uh, they were refusing to release their master tapes, but I believe De La has them back. Check out the back cover, the way it glows. Very cool. This is a classic album for those of you who uh, know hip-hop. Uh... Never mind the Bullocks by the Sex Pistols. Classic punk rock record. Uh, there's a lot of different versions of this album and different versions glow different ways depending. Uh, I have another version. Um, the cover is hanging on my wall so I can't take it down. Uh, it glows much brighter. Um, still, this is very cool. Moving right along. Another classic from 1977. Talking Heads 77. Look at that. I never realized that this glowed. I love it. The back does not glow. <laughs> but the front does. Very cool. Uh, another classic hip-hop record. Danger Doom. The Mouse and the Mask. This was MF Doom and Danger Mouse. Classic record. I don't know if you guys have this or not. I mean, a lot of you guys that I talk with on here are like really more focused on rock. I love hip hop, rock, everything. This has a few panels that glow. Let me see. Look at that. Amazing artwork. It's like a raw shack. Very cool. You got this cool thing right here. Look at that. Black light special. And again, I never, I never knew this glowed under black light until I decided to take on this little project. I went through every record I own. Look at how cool that is. It's amazing. Uh, let me see the record if it, if it's no, it's it's a regular, but the label does glow. Pretty sick, guys. I'm telling you, I want to see what you guys have. It would be really cool to see. All right. Let's get on. SST Records, Blasting Concept, Volume 2. Look at this. This is a classic compilation. It's got Black Flag, The Minutemen, who else? St. Vitus, DC3, SWA, Overkill, Saccharin Trust, Angst, Painted Willy, Worm, Husker Du, Meat Puppets, Dog, and October Faction. Look at this. Yeah! Very, very cool. 
Um, I want to see if anything on the inside glows now. All right. Moving right along. One of the coolest Kraftwerk albums. Look at this. Computer World. Oh, my God. I love it. Uh, anything inside glow? Let's see. No. I love how this just pops when you turn it around, you know? Very cool. Uh, this one is pretty subtle, but the Joy Division compilation, Substance. Look at this. You got to hold it the right way to really catch the glow, but so cool. Love Joy Division. This has so much classic stuff on it, along with their original track, Warsaw, which I would love to acquire um, one of their seven inches from that era. Very cool. All right. Now, this is a reissue. I'm not a huge reissue person, but I love this album. The Clash's first album. Look at that. It's popping. And wait till you see the back cover the way they did it. I believe they just did this for the reissues. I don't. The, I have two original copies, American pressings, and they don't glow like this. Look at this. Whoa, look at the fire. Very sick. There's like a white riot going on. Um, look at this one. Newer Descendants record. Hypercafium Spazinate. Look at that. This really glows. It's got the real glow in the dark. Um, like if I turned all the lights off in here, you would still see it glowing. Very cool. Um, it's got that periodic table or whatever the hell you call it. And there are versions of this that have uh, glow in the dark vinyl, which I don't have. I would love to attain a copy of glow in the dark vinyl, but I do have some other glow in the dark vinyl records coming up right now. Um, this is an amazing band called the Budos Band. Uh, if you don't know this band, check them out. Uh, they're an amazing soul funk instrumental band, kind of Afrobeat influenced, but also Sabbath influenced. Um, really good. They're a local to me and I've seen them play many times and they're a bunch of good guys. Um, this glows. I gotta, I gotta let it kind of catch the light a little bit and then it'll really glow. Look at that. I'm gonna hold it under the black light and let it really charge up. Look at that. Ooh. Let that side charge up. Look, whoa. I love this. So cool. You know, it's kind of a gimmick, but I love it. Ah, oh, classic, classic record. Gorilla Biscuits start today. Um, you're going to say, Kenny, it's not glowing. It's not glowing. But yeah, the vinyl itself glows. Uh, this was a reissue from a few years back. It's not glowing yet, but let it let it absorb some black light, some magic black light. Whoa, look at that. How sick is that? Really, really cool. And now to end it off, this is like the granddaddy of all glow-in-the-dark uh, blacklight records. Uh, this is the most recent Red Fang album, Arrows. Really great record. Uh, if you don't know Red Fang, uh, they're kind of like Stoner Rock meets Mastodon. Really, really, really good band. And they have a lot of great videos. Their videos are hilarious. They don't take themselves seriously at all. They're just like, you know... Fun loving guys, they like to drink, hang out. Uh, now check out the record. This is really, this just pops right out as soon as you take it out of the sleeve. It's like a sun, it's glowing so much. It's amazing. I love it. Let it charge up a little bit. Look at that. Can't beat it. So, yeah, that's all the glow in the dark records I have. Um, maybe I could squeeze it in over here. Uh, let me turn my camera over to the other side. I have a really cool black light poster over there. It's uh, by the artist Dirty, Dirty Donnie. Um, that's Metallica poster. 
And then, you know, I have a lot of other stuff over here that glows. I got a misfit skateboard over there. Um, just all kinds of stuff. I love it. Um, it's like Halloween all year round over here. So yeah, <laughs> I'm back. So yeah, um, thanks for watching this video. Maybe you guys could show me what you have too. It's a little bit of a task. I had to go through all these records, all my records over there, just to see what actually uh, glowed under black light. But hey, let me know what you have. I would love to see it. Be a cool little thread to get going. So yeah, happy Halloween, everybody. It's coming up. You know, listen to some Misfits. Mis listen to some Sam Hain. You know, throw on something to get you in the mood. And don't see Halloween ends because I just saw it and I was not impressed. <laughs> All right, everybody. Have a great weekend. If you could subscribe, please do. Give me a like, comment. And yeah, maybe we'll get this thread going. All right. Have a great weekend. Thank you. Bye.